Well, I'm with Dave Hadfield from The Independent. Dave, you're here for this uh, announcement today. I think we'd had a chat a few times and we all were pretty much adamant. It was Wakefield that we're going to get chucked out. Looks like there's been uh, a few complications in the last 24 hours. Yes, it's a huge surprise, isn't it? We've, we've all been writing Wakefield's obituary. It turns out to be completely premature because Crusaders have fallen on the sword, as it were. They've uh, pulled out of the process and the, the, the Wakefield are in the Super League still by default almost. Because Crusaders it was an important club wasn't it for, for Super League and trying to expand the game? Yes it's a sad day for rugby league in Wales however you try and rationalise it and say there's a lot of other activity going on which there is without that club at the pinnacle playing in Super League it's hard to see it, it hanging together in the same way. What will happen now then for their, their plans? You know Yesterday Harris is the coach, will he want to move on? You've got people like Keith Senior supposedly going there Gareth Thomas has signed a new deal well, I can't see players of that uh, of that prominence playing in the championship. They're still discussing whether they will be in the championship next season. One suggestion I've heard today is they might combine with the South Wales Scorpions and play in South Wales again. But that wouldn't be a financially strong enough entity to support the signing of players like Keith Senior. So there'll have to be a rethink on that, and I suspect he will be going elsewhere. There is a theory, though, that since they've been in Super League, this club was built on sand. Yes, and basically that's correct. Okay. They didn't last more than one season in Super League at Bridge End. They moved to North Wales, initially got some good crowds but went into administration at the end of the first season. Uh, the whole thing has been essentially built on the sand for all the enthusiasm and some occasional good results that they've had and made, made the playoffs last year. And lest we forget, remarkable effort on their part. But. Uh, Really, it's turned out to be an experiment which hasn't worked. It's very late in the day, though, to say, you know what, we're not going ahead with this, we're going to pull out. Well, I'm told discussions were going on for quite some time, and it's, so it's been that rare thing in rugby league, a well-kept secret, this, because nobody had a clue about this. The rumour that was going around was that they might go into administration after they'd got their licence, which would have been messy, but would have been a way for them to survive. Uh, but uh, the idea of them withdrawing and... Uh, in, in essence committing suicide as a club that was, that was a new one, that was an absolute shock for everyone today. But you go through this process which is fairly lengthy and detailed and probably expensive as well, I'm sure they've spent a bit of brass on this, it almost kind of makes it kind of null and void when you get a team that just comes along at the end and says you know what we're not going to be involved. Yes, yeah, kind of preempts the whole process doesn't it? I'm, I'm told that it, it was the process of assessment that persuaded Crusaders that they didn't have what it took the, the wherewithal to continue as a Super League club because they'd seen what was going to be required of them in the future and didn't feel that they could get there with the resources that they got. A shame, but better that they should admit it now than, uh, than limp along and pull out some stage before the start of next season. Have you managed to get a straight answer about whether they would have been the team that got kicked out anyway? Well, nobody's prepared to answer a hypothetical like that. I, I don't think they would have been. I think if they'd gone into the, gone into the mix, uh, they would probably have been in and Wakefield would have been out. So uh, it's you can describe it as a stroke of luck for Wakefield. It's up to them what they do with it now. They've got time now, obviously, to get things right, Wakefield, and they have made strides in the last sort of four or five months since Andrew Glover took over. They've been better run then than I, I can ever remember Wakefield being run, so uh, credit to them for that. Uh, they can hold together some of the players who were planning to leave. Uh, they'd all decided that it was going to finish with Wakefield out of Super League and they were making other plans. Now they can, uh, they can try and retain those players. The good young players that they have coming through as well, they're not bereft of talent by any means. So, I mean, hopefully they'll see this opportunity with both hands and really make something of it. And I suppose the hopes of trying to keep hold of someone like John Keir are certainly raised by definitely being a Super League club again. Absolutely, yes, and I know there'll be a mood of great celebration there today. It'll be like they've won the Cup again. It'll be like that 19... 19- 60s when they were winning trophies regularly it'd be like that again today in, in Wakefield but the question now is what they, what they do with this second chance, this lifeline that they've been thrown. Just finally Halifax were also in the running, the championship side, were they ever serious contenders? I don't think so, no, I mean obviously in their own minds they were I just don't think that they had the uh, the administration, the infrastructure to sustain a Super League club maybe some stage in the future because there's nothing wrong with the ground now, it's a rugby league area and it is a place which you could conceive of having a successful Super League bid in the future but this was too early for them Alright Dave I'll let you get off I know you've got your copy to write and get it out to, the, to everyone who's going to be reading your, your columns and what have you so we'll speak to you later of course in the week with the previews of the action coming up this weekend I look forward to that Thank you, cheers